Despite the existence of Piang Fender design guidelines, robust testing of rubber and steel is not routinely performed by all the suppliers as part of their quality assurance processes. Moreover, Piang guidelines for design of Fender system hasn't been updated for over a decade. Obviously, a lot has changed in that time and there's no sign of these regulations being updated and tightened to remove the problems around interpretation. As with all the industries, some manufacturers follow acceptable practices, others don't, especially low-cost suppliers and trading companies. So, despite Piang Fender design guidelines, the testing of rubber and steel is unreliable, or in some cases, products are delivered without prior testing. Apart from few manufacturers, we believe that the majority of the manufacturers don't carry out testing either in the lab or in the factory and certainly don't perform routine testing on full-scale products. It comes down to low-cost supplier and trading companies just not being prepared to invest the time and resources even though they have realized that the lab and the product testing are crucial to produce and deliver consistent quality of products. We have invested significant time, money and resources into our materials development. We are always looking for ways to refine rubber compounds to meet market needs, which are usually in the areas of high performance and reliable cost effective solutions. Our product research and development program is designed to address a variety of projects. Some of these are speculative developments, others are best book projects working alongside clients, which is the way we often like to work. Port owners and operators need the reassurance that they are working with a reliable partner. They need to know that products not only meet their specification but won't let them down a few months down the line. The proof of adequate testing by a manufacturer is the best way to reassure yourself that your investment is safe.